you know, in life people would kind of compromise and hide their inner feelings. But that's the power of cinema, to be able to capture these inner feelings and make them quite clear. I never had a model, you know, no. I, th I always immediately thought that, you know, um, being an actress was just about how to cultivate your difference rather than your... Uh, and I, I thought I, I was so far away from any model, you know, so I'd better find my own way. And some and people I, would talk to you a lot about the character and some would not, you know. For instance, with Claude Chabrol, we would have very little conversations about the character, in fact, almost none, you know. He would say sometimes just a, a line that I would grab and that I would rely on for the whole shooting. Like, for instance, when we did Madame Bovary, I remember, he said, because usually you think of Madame Bovary became, become, being a kind of inferior character or whatever, being negative. And he said, I think the problem of Madame Bovary, Bovary is that she has a complex of superiority, <laughs> meaning she believes more than, um, that she's more than she is and, uh, and not less, you know. And I don't know, that drove me all throughout the film. I don't really remember Michaela Anoke talking to me about anything for the character. I'm very reluctant about uh, speaking about a character, for example. It's not even about doing a character. For me, the idea of a character does not exist, you know. A character is, a, is an arbitrary um, invention. You know? It does not exist, so it's not even about that. And it gives you limitations. Because if you do a character, so you feel like you have to do certain things, and it's a lot more than this, you know. I want to be more free, and a character gives me, puts me in, in prison. So it's not even about that. Within this plot, yes, you just have to be, to be yourself. It was really about just being, and sometimes it's kind of weird because you feel like you're not even acting, and uh, and that's I think that where the emotions comes from. Do you improvise when you do these lengthy dialogues? Well, you know, I've worked with uh, the great uh, stage director, Bob Wilson, you know, <coughs> and Robert Wilson likes to say, by definition, acting is improvisation. Now, it doesn't mean that you improvise in the way that people expect you improvise, like you're making up your own lines and things like this, mm -hmm. but by definition, it is improvisation in the sense that the minute before, you don't know what you are going to do exactly. When I talk to you, I don't know how am I, I'm, I'm going to say my next line. It's the same for acting. But mm -hmm. most of the time, let's say, to be more uh, precise, no, it's not improvisation. You know, you have dialogues, and you just say the dialogues. So it's completely instinctive, it sounds like to you. But it starts somewhere. Uh, it is, and it's, yes, of course. It's a lot about instinct and intuition. And, uh, um, but of course I think, it's not that I don't think about what I do, you know, <laughs> I do little thinking before, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's something that grows within yourself, you know, it's, but you know, it's like, like you, do that, you take notes or whatever, you know, I'm just, it's growing slowly and slowly, and then comes the moment when you shoot the film and it's all about this present time. Mo doing movies is just about doing it, about the present time, it's not about, you can, prepare and you can think and you can, but it doesn't tell you what's going to happen when the camera is rolling and once the whole thing is being put together by the director. That's different. And doing a movie or doing a, any role yeah. is just to, for me at least, I'm, I'm not talking for anybody else, but to just to experience that moment when you do it. And that's all. The Adelaide Festival director Paul Grabowski has described this play as causing a furor in Europe. So what is it about it that's caused that furor? When we first uh, showed the play in Paris, it really divided actually more the critics than the audience. The first sayings through the medias about the play, you know, were what we can call controversial, you know, but I think that's the purpose of theatre, you know. But I, I see even with the characters you play, like uh, the character in the, piani, the piano, or Mamer, or m many of the characters you play, they are quite fearless. You go for, you push the boundaries in acting. You take characters fearlessly. I don't think I push the boundaries. The film pushed the boundaries, but that's what films are made for, you know, just to, to stir people's mind and to make them think and to, to question, you know, uh, people, and that's exactly what uh, Elle does in most 
uh, most of the time, I think. It's, yes, it, 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 it can be disturbing, but it doesn't mean that um, it shouldn't be done, you know. The, the good thing about it is that on one hand it's completely imaginary, on the other hand it's very real also. It's very, very close to what you think reality could be, you know, in the sense that uh, it, it's never a fictional representation of what you think uh, uh, a strong woman is or, or man, men should be, you know. It's so close to reality, so it can be disturbing why you do certain things and why you are you can be, you can be attracted to something that you resent or that you uh, it says a lot you know about the ambiguity of of human behavior and that's all what, what motivates you to go and explore those edges of human psyche because these are interesting roles and 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 in the case of L again uh, it was also the perspective to work with someone like Paul Verhoeven because I knew that I wasn't complete trust with him. Uh, I think um, he doesn't work, uh, he doesn't work against women, he, you know, he is, uh, I was in complete, um, great complicity. I knew uh, he would do, he would do it well. And, um, and as for the role themselves, uh, I think I do them because I, I don't see them at, as edgy as uh, you might see them as a spectator uh, or as risky. I mean, this kind of vocabulary is out of my field of perception, I have to say. You know, danger, risk, I don't see it like this. I just see it as um, as something quite normal. So I, I, I don't see the risk when I do it. So, so that's why I do it. <laughs> Otherwise, if I saw the risk, I wouldn't do it. Nobody is normal. Everybody is normal and nobody is normal, I would say, you know. So this ability to, to portray characters in, in, let's say, a certain normality in abnormal situations, you know. And uh, like most of people with, with uh, extravagant behaviors, you know, I, most of the time quite normal, but they are being drawn in, extrava in abnormal situations, you know. How difficult is it? It's in you, both these sides, the softness and the hardness. And so it's, yeah. it is the context of the film completely. Of course, I mean, I mean, the, 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 you know, I mean one situation, mm. you know, the body is much more kind of shy. And I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole ensemble, you know. It's a, I mean, I can't, I can't say it's difficult because it's, it's not difficult, you know. It's just very, well, I guess, you know, it's easy for me to do it it's because it's an ensemble of the, the dialogue and the situation and the character. I mean, whether, I mean, it's, it's the least an actress can do, I would say, you know, <laughs> whether you have to be shy or, or aggressive or very, very, you know, insol uh, insolent, I don't know how to say that. Insolent, yeah. Insolent, okay. Um, I mean, it's all. It has a lot to do with also imagination. You know, it's 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 uh, it's not more difficult than this. You know, plus uh, it's it's not like I was jumping from one f situation to the other. But even if I had, I would say, you know, it wouldn't cause me any difficulty. You know, it's a. Uh, it's uh, it's also you know it's your body or your voice as, is like an instrument, and it's like you were asking a dancer if it's difficult for her to do the grand écart, and she would say no, you know, but it's the same for an actor, I guess, you know. I'm good at that, but I'm not good at doing the grand écart, you know, when you have to stretch your like, legs completely. <laughs> I mean, some do, but some I, I, can't, I cannot do. So I think mise-en-scene is really how you make move an individual in relation to the environment. I like this story about Ingrid uh, Berman, you know, she, she, she didn't know exactly what uh, Rosalind was expecting from her and she was a bit at loss, you know, coming from a Hollywood movie into those small Italian movies. And then, and then she, she, uh, she asked him, what should I do? And he said, move so that I can show what is around you, which is the perfect definition of what mm. mise-en-scene is and how you, 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 you put an individual in relation to you know, what surrounds that individual in a film, you know. So, but I mean, that might sound very theoretical. It's just also something that you, you feel, you know, you, you, and that's also why, what I experienced doing um, things to come, you know, and, 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 and also, you know, the film with Bavo, you know, the film, the souvenir. I mean, this, when you feel that the, the movement is just perfect, you know, and so the, 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 the feeling 
follows, you know, the sensations follows and the expressions are very easy to deliver when you feel that, you know, the movements is, is good. The, the, the right distance of the camera, whether you have to express certain feeling, and this is something, it's very organic, you know, this is also something the actor really reckons, you know, when the camera is at the right place, because of course you're not going to express the same feeling whether you have a close-up. Sometimes you would, you would find a, a, a question, an answer if the camera comes closer, and sometimes you would find a, a different answer if the camera is a more uh, longer distance shot, you know. So it's a language, and it's a conversation like what we do now, in a way. Could you